Next up on Unity Live at GDC, we're talking the Universal Game Dev Challenge. And we are back at Unity Live at GDC, and we're welcoming our first guest, Chris from NBC Universal. Sir, thank you for being here. Thank you. Welcome. Nice thank you. So, NBC Universal Unity Game Challenge. What? What's it all about? Well, we wanted to really do something innovative and open up some of our IP for the first time to work with the developer community. Um, you know, since I came to NBC Universal, we've really been focused on a major push into gaming, and a big part of that is us finding the best developers out there, uh, developers large and small. And uh, we really wanted to change the way that game developers can work with a big studio like Universal. Um, you know, instead of, you know, a lot of people wouldn't even know how to approach us about yeah, working course. on an IP they love. And so, uh, you know, and if they did, normally they would have to go through a whole process and there would be a ton of contracts and paperwork and all that. We wanted to get all that out of the way cool. and just make it really easy to work with Universal and get engaged in the creative stuff up front. So speaking of those IPs, I hear that you have a trailer to show us some of those things. I do. So we're really excited about this. I hope you will be too. And here's the trailer. Let's take a look. Super cool. How awesome wow. is that? That's oh pretty right? good. I love this challenge. So, I'm so Jaws, excited. Back to the Future, Voltron, Battlestar Galactica, Turok. Um, and it really shows the breadth of IP we have at NBC Universal for people to play with. It almost seems like you're showing off, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I prepared. I've got my I Jaws love it. Jaws shirt. 19. I'm Coming to, to a theater near you. Mixing up two of your IP, to be yes. clear. Yes, yes, yes. Back um, to the future and Jaws, yes. But Liz, you, you, you're very keen on, on Jaws as well. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I think um, it's such an incredible opportunity because not only is it opening up to developers, like you said, big and small, and bridging that gap between like talking to Universal and having your IPs and having that link to industry that, that some developers would could only dream of. Um, and it's not just that as well. You're working with other other companies too. It's mm -hmm. not just Universal. It's like a major powerhouse. Like, what was the inspiration behind? How did this all come together? It's incredible. Well, well like I said, I mean, we we really want to work with the best in the game mm. industry and find a way to connect the best game developers with with our IP and come up with really new creative things. Um, and this just felt like a really great way to do it. We've 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 watched the Unity game. Uh, challenges that you guys have done for many years and really respected how Unity uh, has handled them uh, and really felt that the process was well run, the developers were respected. Um, and so for our first time out, we wanted to work with uh, with a partner that has done uh, done this before, has great experience in it, uh, but also we have a shared mission here, which is that Unity wants to democratize games, and we want to democratize how developers can work with with studios. So it was a great match, and then we were fortunate enough to get Intel and Microsoft on board, and of yeah. course they're a fundamental part of the of the whole ecosystem of game making and playing. And they came to the party uh, with some of the prize money and additional technology and other things to, to help the challenge along. And so it's really a match made in heaven with, uh, with sort of the four partners that we have on this, uh, including Universal, Unity, uh, Intel, and Microsoft on this, on this venture. Yeah, so we, um, we touched on it a bit in our, in our keynote on Monday, but um, what are the kind of nuts and bolts of this? So if I've got an idea, like I've just heard about these IP and I'm thinking, right, I want to make uh, Back to the Future, Jill. Endless Runner, Featuring Jaws, <laughs> not mixing the IP maybe, but how do I get into it? Like, how do I how do I connect with you guys, or how do I pitch to you? How does it? How, how so, does it the, so there will be a portal uh, mm -hmm. that, that 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 that's launching today, okay. um, and uh, developers can go online and submit a, a, a game design doc as well as a two-minute video that describes their concept, uh, and we'll uh, go through those and select. 
uh, a, a handful of those uh, proposals to go in front of a guest uh, celebrity judge panel. Cool. Uh, we have uh, a, a great number of judges. Uh, we have Dean Takahashi uh, from VentureBeat. Uh, we have Bob Gale, who's the creator of Back to the Future. Awesome. We have one of the creators of the Voltron TV show, uh, among others. So it's a really, it's a really great uh, group uh, that are going to be judging these submissions. Cool. So if, uh, if someone does, I'm just kind of curious about this bit, if someone does choose to mix up the IP, is that something that you're expecting people to do or not really? It, it, they're free to submit whatever they whatever they want to submit, and okay. we will we'll look at all. I don't want to I don't want to say no to any. You don't idea. want to bias anybody. No, I don't want to bias anyone. I mean, we're not you know uh, we don't all we don't typically mix up our IP, but we've done it before, and for okay. the right concept, we would. And so, typically, do you, do you guys make uh, make games yourself, or is this like an early foray into this for NBC Universal? So like, we focused on building a publishing organization first. So we've hired about fifty people this year. We're going to hire another forty. Uh, we're hiring, by the way. Um, and uh, uh, and uh, but really building up our publishing muscle as well as an internal kind of creative incubator group uh, that could come up with ideas and that can work with developers such as the folks that will uh, meet along the way of this challenge. Um, but we've really been focused on publishing and then working with third-party developers, and that really brings a, a, a real clarity to our focus, which is that you know, we're, not, we're not dividing our attention between internal studios and external studios. We're really about finding the best developers out there, then matching them with the right projects, and then bringing those, those games to market. So exciting. And so stage one is the games design document. Am I right in thinking that? Sort of the, the next stage, is there one be beyond that? The, the next stage beyond that is, uh, is, is there's, a, there, there's sort of an internal uh, vetting process to look at all the submissions and make sure they meet the criteria uh, and select the ones that ultimately go in front of the judges. And then uh, the judges will, t will take a look at all the, all the qualified uh, submissions. Uh, and then they'll make a determination on the winners, uh, and we have a prize pool of $250,000, which I believe, someone was telling me backstage, is the biggest prize pool Unity's had for a competition. Yeah, it's true. It's very true, yeah. And it's not just that. Am I right in thinking that there's mentorship in there, there as well? Is, there is, and, and that's one of the things we really want to do is uh, you know, build a mentoring and, and, and a very collaborative relationship with these developers. Mm -hmm. So the winning developers will get a one-year contract with Universal um, uh, to consult on the games. Uh, they'll also get to come out and visit the Universal Studios a lot, uh, nice. which is which is just a really fun place to be. Uh, and they'll get mentorship from from our team and from the creatives at Universal. When you can't buy that, that's what no. you say. <laughs> literally can't. <laughs> literally, literally cannot. Um, cool. So if uh, if people want to meet you, are you guys around at the show as well? At we are. We are around at the show, uh, and we'll be at the party. Um, so we are a yes. co-sponsor of the uh, Unity Party. And uh, I think tonight. you have something special planned for the Unity we Party. We do. Right? So we will have the DeLorean <laughs> yeah. from Back to the Future uh, for people to pose with, and we will have a ginormous Voltron. And by pose with, you mean me exclusively drive, right? Yeah. Yes, you can exclusive. No, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, no. It's binding. Um, that's the, legally yeah, binding. Yeah, it's <laughs> legally binding. Uh, the flux capacitor is on the fritz, but uh, <laughs> you know, we have a lot of devs showing up, so maybe somebody can fix that. Convenient. Um, but we're also get, we're also going to have a variety of uh, of universal themed cocktails at the party. <sighs> Including my favorite, the Jasmopolitan. So, oh, yes. I mean, <laughs> yeah. both pun and booze. What could yeah. go wrong? So we will. So, so uh, we will be there in force. Uh, uh, I'll be there. Uh, Gary Locum, who's one of our heads of business development, Bill Kispert, and the rest of the the rest of the team at uh, Universal. So please stop by, say hello. Uh, we'd love to talk to you. So cool. we go to UnityConnect.com to get started uh, with the submission. Is that right? That's yep. right. UnityConnect.com. Submit. Jaws games and just have so much fun. I'm and so excited any of about the this. other IP. I want a Battlestar game. I really want a Battlestar. I'm I, mean, really I personally some great want ones out Battlestar there, Galactica. I love Battlestar. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. I just can't wait to see what comes out of this competition. It's really exciting. It's going to be good. Very awesome. excited. Chris, thank you so much thank for being you. on the show. Thank you. Appreciate it's been it. an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.